Hello everyone, this is our Argon Matrix welcoming you to episode 10 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. Yes, my Wii is finally back from repairs and <laughs> Nintendo actually did a really quick job on repairing it. Apparently they like got it in, they repaired it and sent it out all within one day, which is just amazing. And now we are back and hopefully we can continue this LP without further hiatuses. Hiatuses? Hiatus? Hiati? Haiti? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so, last time we did stuff, and I got lucky with it not crashing, I guess, last time, but... And now we are going to go eat some hot wings. And I just realized what this, like, symbol on the wall here reminds me of, this, like, bird symbol. It reminds me of the Nazca lines. Those are, those, those freaking things are freaking cool, man. Can't you, like, see them from space or something? I don't know. Anyways... Oh, I can't wait for my delicious hot wings. It's gonna be so much fun. Who looks Waddle D? What? No! Waddle D! He just got burned to a crisp. Oh wait, who's this guy? Oh, this is hot wings? Damn, I want some spicy barbecue hot wings. That would be so delicious right now. Honestly, I can go for that. Alright, so basically what you gotta do this battle is you gotta... Well, I just kinda showed you exactly what you have to do without even really telling you, but... Probably should tell you, just to be safe. Uh, he, he's gonna, like, throw his little babies at you or whatever, and then he's gonna... And then you have to pick one of those up, and throw it back at him. And then he'll unleash a giant spew of beads. And then you gotta collect those if you want, I guess. It's probably a good idea to collect those, you know. <laughs> oh, because it's kind of... Al it's almost the whole point of this game, is to collect beads. Alright, yeah, so here's gonna go again. And I love that pose that he takes when he throws his babies. He just like leans his head forward. He, he's like, "Go forth, my young ones, unleash fury." Anyways, and then when he's like this roast chicken form, dude, dude, I missed, I missed because I was explaining how he looked like a roast chicken. <laughs> that is really kind of hilarious. Yeah, but when he's in that like form that looks like a roast chicken or like a raw chicken or something, that's when you need to um grab him and just fling him straight across the room across the area. It's not really a room at all. It's a room inside a volcano, I guess. Alright, and... BOOM! It'll look so hilarious when he flings, gets flung across the room. You know, I think the most hilarious part of it all is, like, when he gets flung across the room, I think the... Oh my god. Ow. That hurt. Kirby got crispy there for a second. But I think the most hilarious part is, the sh is like, the shape of the arc that Kirby's yarn makes when he grabs him. Like, next time that I that, that I do that, just watch the shape of, like, the whip that Kirby has. It's just, something about it is just, like, the most hilarious shape ever. I guess, I, I don't know, I guess, I just think, like, round arcs are just funny. That's probably just me. Alright, dude. <laughs> I expelled nothing but stars there, that's how many beads I have. Yeah, I don't know if I ever explained that, but the more beads you have when you get hit, the more, like, crystal stars you'll spew out. I don't know what to say. Go forth, my young ones! Be careful here, because you got to kind of, like, jump right there to avoid that. All right, now watch the arc. <laughs> I think it's more just Kirby going in an arc than his whip, but it's still funny. All right, and that's that. Oh, my God. I forgot about the happy dance. Yay! And the happiness spiral. Man, it's been so long since I beat a boss in Kirby's epic yarn. Shoot, I can't. And we're about to witness this awesome cutscene, too. Well, it's not awesome. It's the same every time, but... Whatever. At least we get to hear the narrator's voice again. We haven't heard him in, like, forever. We did it. We got the magic yarn. We got the magic yarn! So ecstatic. He's just so ecstatic. Whoa! Still can't get over how that, like, when it strings together, it looks like a grand staff. It's so cool. Ooh, cake. Oh my goodness. I want cake. Look, that cake has like... Oh my god, that looks so delicious. It has like those like... Weird like chocolate stirring sticks. In it. Well, you can't see it now. I just had a... F I have a kind of photographic memory, so I memorized it. Ooh. Hop, 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 hop. Hee hee, ha ha, ho ho. Oh, it's a yarn DD. -D. I mean, a, a yarn waddle -D. Why are they carrying treasure chests anyways? They're just carrying them back and forth. That 
only one of Yin Yarn's Oh no. Wait, he can just knit them that fast? That's crazy. Soon dream. Yeah, ha 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 ha. More like <laughs> Figures I do that as soon as it says Yin Yarn cackled. Right. What plan was he stringing together? I don't know. It's such a mystery. Oh, it's not like he's trying to take over the world with yarn or anything. No, that's crazy talk. Alright, so that goes to Treat Land, which is going to be fun. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we got the Hourglass patch. I think that's what it was. So let's just go ahead and toss it and see what happens. Whoa. <laughs> that's cool. Oh my. Okay. Just fill that pyramid with sand, why don't you? I guess. Alright, and Temper Temple. I remember this one not being too much fun. Mostly because I don't like, like, the... Because, like... I don't know if I ever, like, went into much detail about this, but after you beat a boss, the patch that you get, it'll unlock a level that specializes in a certain power-up. And the power-up that is this one specializes in is just... I don't find it that much fun, honestly. It's gonna be the fire truck one, which I think we've seen before. It's kinda cool. Like, I... Really, the only thing I like about it is, like, the yarn water. Because I just love that effect. Anyways... Oh yeah, we're also going to have to deal with these freaking like, floating boat platforms. Which are never very much fun. Because it's basically now it's just like a scrolling level. I get the patch. Awesome. Oh, so today is July 10th, and this is episode 10. How convenient. The only thing that would make it more appropriate is if it was October. Alright. Dude, okay. Oh, I love these the way these things just shrink. They just shrink so tiny. Like, if they could talk, like, or, like, scream or whatever, they'd be going, like, oh, They'd just get more and more high-pitched as they got smaller. That'd be fun. Alright, oh, careful, this guy. Actually, you want to spray him, and I think... Yep, he has a treasure, the pyramid. Some say that this decorative object has healing powers. What? <laughs> a pyramid that has healing powers. That sounds very... Well, based on the pyramid from Mario 64, I would have to completely disagree there and say that pyramids have far from healing powers. In fact, they have life-draining powers. Alright. Oh, I don't think that this guy has them. I think that, pretty, like, all three treasures, like, include... Well, I guess the third one is always the music disc, which is still kind of a treasure, because the music in this game is very much treasurable. But all three of them are, like, inside these, like, worm guys. So you have to kind of kill them. In order to get them. Dude, 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 dude. He's gonna hit me. Okay. Good. Alright, oh, psh, I don't think this guy has one. I think the next one does, though. I didn't even kill him, so I guess I would never know. Well, actually, I will know. Alright, get this guy. Get him, get him. Oh, dude, yes, I got it. Okay, the camel pillow. This camel pillow has two humps. One for you and one for a friend? Um. Psh, okay. Interpret that how you will. I know that they, like, mean, like, because, like, Kirby's, they're, like, always just, like, they always, like, to snuggle up to each other and it's so adorable, but. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sexual connotations are through the roof. Wait, what hit me there? I didn't even see anything. Oh, it was probably a fireball that jumped out of the water. Ah, oh, stupid pot of booze. Alright, yeah, but that camel pill, that can actually be kind of hard to get. Because, like, the platform rises, and if you if you miss that guy on your first, like, attempt at spraying him, then you're not going to get him. Because it just doesn't rise in sync with that with the way that guy moves. So it's kind of ridiculous. Oh, I don't know why I'm still getting beads. I already have the gold rank, but... You know, it's fun to get beads, even though it is kind of risky. Oh, wait, I get get up there! Oh, man. I can't spray that patch down, so I guess we're missing a patch for this level, but at least I showed you where it is. Alright. Uh, did this guy have the last one? I don't think so, but... Shh, doesn't hurt to kill him anyways. Oh, I guess he didn't. Alright. Oh, there's guys up there. There's freaking giant fireballs up there. Fireball is yum! And there we go. Thank goodness you can, like, spray down these beads. It's really nice. Very nice. Oh, these freaking flame jets. Alright, this one's gotten tricky, because you got to hit this and then jump over to the other platform if you want the beads. They kind of try to fool you there, but it did not work on me. Oh, your tricks are too naive for me. All your base are belong to us. I think I want to head this way. This is the this is the treasure. 
Because, like, the lava and, like, all the hot, like, the heat emanating from the walls, or maybe it's just this patch that's over here, I don't know. But the heat emanating, the, em emanating from the walls, it's just, like, it's trying to make you go... Dude! <laughs> I, get to, I get the music as soon as I freaking hit that. As soon as I fall and die. Alright. Jeez, even after getting hit, I still have the gold rank. That's kind of crazy. It's kind of stupid. Oh, yeah. Jeez, my nose hurts. Yeah, my nose hurts. I know that's the most random thing to say. But, like, like a few days ago, I went to the Calgary Stampede, which is just so much fun. Like, if you ever get a chance to go to that, it's it truly is the greatest outdoor show on Earth. So take any chance you can get to go there. Oh, but, like, I spent, I guess, too long outside there, and I didn't put on sunscreen like a dummy. So I got a sunburn, but only on my nose, strangely. Oh, yes, I got the bonus. Awesome. I got the best bonus. Oh, yeah, I only got it on my nose, strangely. And it's already starting to peel, which is so gross. It's so gross when, you're, when like, the sunburn peels. Even though it is, it's, like, it's gross to everyone around you, but, like, to you, it's just kind of, like, normal. It's just, like, yeah, whatever. Because it's part of you, I guess. It's, like, the same, like, how, like, you're not disgusted by your own schlong, but you won't look at some, some other guys. Oh, that's silly. All right, was this one? This one... I don't, this is a it looks like the candle patch. So let's toss it. Mm, oh, it's a fuse? It's lighting a fuse? Oh no, it's gonna blow open the door! Uh oh. Don't blow up the level, then I can't do it. Uh oh. It's fireworks. Fitting, since like the 4th of July and the 1st of July just passed. Whoa. Well, that's a little bit random, but okay. That unlocks the Dusky Dunes, which is one of my favorite levels. Actually, it's just Dusk Dunes. I don't know why I add the ed the Y on the end of Dusk. Just because it makes it more flamboyant, I guess. Alright. Um, I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, I think I'm just gonna, like, I look su in such a good mood to record today, because I haven't recorded in so long. I especially haven't recorded this in very long. Um, but, so I'm just probably gonna record. I don't know if I'll do my intro and outro, I kinda just wanna get into the game right now. Alright, but this one is so much fun, because you get to use the frickin' race car, and it's just a race. Alright. Oh, I'm glad I remember the controls of the race car. Hold 1 to accelerate. Man, I hope I can get a perfect run on this course on the first try, that would be awesome. Because, like, it is kinda tricky. Basically, you wanna stay as high as possible, though. But that can get a little bit confusing on where you have to go at certain times. Because sometimes you have to fall down to get as high as possible, which makes no sense in the in like the logical sense, but whatever. Alright, sweet, that's the first treasure. This carpet has the power to fly, but it's much safer on the floor. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, don't try this at home kind of thing. If you if you happen to have a flying carpet at home, don't use it. Of course not. Boing, I love those. Oh, damn it. I needed to jump there, I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, because I missed that treasure up there now. Damn it. You have to jump off that one stupid pillar in order to do that right. Alright, oh, here's the third patch. At least I got all three patches. That's kind of nice. Alright, I remember this music thing here is going to be a little bit tricky to get. Oh, no, I guess not. That wasn't too tricky. Alright, and I guess jump up. Why not? Alright, oh, oh, am I gonna beat this guy? Am I gonna beat him? Yes, I am. And that's the end, I think. The end of the race. And I love what they do at the end here. They have this little podium. And you can even, like, you can even kill the other people that, like, came in second and third. Bam! Just kill them. For, like, just one more bead. But it's one bead. Worth it. And then open this, and this is our prize money, I guess. Oh, yeah. And obviously, if you come in second or third, then your prize money will be less. It's just, it's just kinda cool that they did that. Alright, uh, I, fi I figured out kind of a trick that will most likely get you, like, the five bonus there, like, the smallest one, is if you just, if you whip it right before it hits that one, so, like, right there, then normally you'll get it. Oh, pff, I guess not. Didn't have enough force that time. Oh, well. Not that I needed it. Oh, I have 2,010 beads. Jeez. <laughs> oh, just one more and that would have been perfect. You're 2011, you know. There you go. And I missed a treasure, so I'm gonna have to go back for that. Uh, I think I'll just go back for that right now. I'll probably cut it out. But, 
<laughs> if I end up failing anymore, then I might show that, because that might be kind of funny. Alright. Uh, hopefully you guys can remember, like, where it is within the level. If not, if you're, like, playing along, then it should be fairly easy to recognize the area. Or at least see the treasure. Okay, just uh, stop talking, dude. Just cut it out. Alright, so you gotta jump there, right? I think, yes, and then... Yes, yes, awesome! Okay, I got on the first try. The hourglass. This hourglass uses stardust to tell you where the star when the stars are out. Seriously? That would be a cool hourglass to have. Man. The stardust has got to be pretty rare. Pretty dang rare. Oh my god, I almost made it up there. That was funny. I like, hit the trampoline and I hit the bottom of the two blocks that I need to get up there. That was just ridiculous. Alrighty. And I think we're just about done with the race, so I might as well just leave the rest of this in. Yep. And... Dunzo. Oh, I guess I'll let my competitors live this time, but I'm still going to collect my reward. Oh, yeah. So much money, so much shinies. I love the shinies. And the wind in the background is just like, Fwoosh! Oh, I missed that one patch. The one patch. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, 1930. Well, that's far from the year 2011 this time, but whatever. 